beauties, how's it going? Okay, so today I have a review for you guys. Um, got this product a couple months ago, been trying it out, and finally ready to do my review. I've even made some notes down here so I wouldn't forget any of my thoughts on it. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. This review is going to be on the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation Mattifying Oil Free and the Veil Mineral Primer Base. Now I got both of these in a set off of um, HSN and the reason I went ahead and got it off them because um, for both of these I believe the set was 55 for both and I believe regularly these are like in the 30s, 40s something and basically the same for this so I was like okay this is my opportunity to try it. I'm going to take the plunge and get it and yes so anyways um, if you guys aren't familiar with but I'm sure you are this is the hourglass the packaging I really love the packaging I think it's really um, just sleek and simple and I really like the shimmers in it. I just think it's really pretty so I want to talk about this one first and um, it's basically it's a really nice foundation I really love the coverage because it does cover um, everything that you really would like but it is a bit drying now I know it's mattifying so anything mattifying is really gonna dry you out a bit more but my skin is not oily or like dry. I have like combination, just like t zone -y a little bit or more dry than oily. Um, and this just was a little bit too more drying um, for me. It did hold on a little bit to like around my nose. And if I had dry patches, it kind of brought them out a little bit more. But I really do like the coverage. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of hard. Um, with this one it was really easy to apply it just blended flawlessly on the face um, really really nice but it does have a funky smell so I really don't like the smell yeah it kind of smells like burnt plastic maybe or I don't know something funky I, I don't like that um, so I'm gonna jump to my notes down here um, it was very long lasting um, it did keep my T-zone really matte. I was not oily, didn't make no little bit of oil at all, so that was definitely amazing. Um, it lasts about a good nine hours um, from my the wear when I do apply it, um, pretty much a few times that I have worn it. It was basically around a nine hour wear, so that's just amazing. I don't really even have it on my normal wearage time, nine hours. That was just to test until I had to just wash my face. Um, and let's see, I've worn it to a good first time wear was to a Selena Gomez concert. So I've got ready that morning. We left to go, you know, um, in the middle of the day and we came home late at night and my makeup looked like I just put it on when I've gotten home. So I definitely love that about it. I just wish, wish it wasn't so dry. Um, when I run out of this, will I repurchase it? I really don't think so because um, I'm not that big of a fan with it. Um, it's like I can do without it. It's not like a must have for me. So um, yeah, if you guys have tried it, drop me down what you think about it down below. Um, Give me some of your feedback on it. Oh, and I like the way this applies with my Sigma and my Sedona Lace and a Beauty Blender. Mineral Primer. This here, um, I was trying to see if I had the price for it by itself. I'm sorry I don't, but this just feels so silky, so smooth. An amazing base for your foundation. My opinion is it's really good, but there is better primers that I have found myself. Um, but all in all, I really do like it, and I do suggest if you're going to try the mattifying, get a really good primer, this one. Anything moisturizing is going to help it not be so drying on your face. Um, but yeah, all in all, um, definitely they're both good. They both feel amazing on the skin. This is just a bit too drying for me. It's a good foundation, but not my must-have. And, and for the Hourglass Primer as well, very, very good. Easy to work with. It creates a nice layer for your foundation. It's really, really amazing, but um, it's not a must-have for me either. This, uh, I just, I don't know if I will repurchase it or not because I do have more primers that I do prefer, but I really do like it. 
So, yeah, I like both of these, but they're not must-haves. Um, yeah, so, anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me for this review on this lovely foundation, Mattifying by Hourglass, and the Veil Mineral Primer as well. So if you guys have any more further questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you guys have tried them, tell me what you think about them as well. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.